Thanks so much. I have an opening comment, and I look forward to your questions. Uh, we have seen in this country it's getting harder and harder for people to afford their groceries. And we're seeing in response to that, uh, recently we've learned that instead of taking on corporate greed, the Liberals and Justin Trudeau have been giving millions of dollars to grocery corporations. So while people are struggling and trying to figure out what they can afford to buy or not buy, what they have to put back on the shelf because it's just too expensive, Liberals are deciding how many millions of dollars they want to give to the grocery cartel. We've seen recently $25 million plus going to Costco and Loblaws. And we know that this is hurting people. On top of that, my colleague Lori Idlaut is going to talk about the impact in the north. We've learned that Nutrition North, which is supposed to support people in the north, a third of that subsidy ends up going into the pockets of the CEO of Northwest Company. Again, that is absolutely wrong. Public money shouldn't be going to enrich rich corporations. It should be going towards ensuring that people have a better opportunity to get food that they need. And if we think the prices are high in the South, they are astronomically high in the North. So New Democrats have a clear vision. We need to stop the corporate greed, which is driving up the cost of food. We need to stop giving millions of dollars to rich corporations. And instead, we need to bring down the price of food. I'm going to do that again in French, and then I look forward, and then I'll introduce Laurie Lab. Donc c'est clair qu'on est dans un temps où c'est plus que jamais euh, impossible de rejoindre les deux bouts et le coût d'épicerie augmente. En particulier dans ce moment, on note le fait que les libéraux, au lieu de faire face à cette exploitation, donnent des gros cadeaux aux grandes entreprises d'épicerie. Récemment, ils ont donné, on a, on a appris qu'ils ont donné euh, 25 millions de dollars à Costco et Loblaw. Donc Le premier ministre décide combien de millions de dollars elle donne aux grandes entreprises d'épicerie au lieu de comment ils peuvent faire face à l'exploitation de ces grandes entreprises. En plus, Lauriello, mon collègue, mon collègue, ma collègue de Nunavut va parler un peu de ce qui se passe dans le Nord, où il y a un programme qui doit aider les gens. Au lieu de ça, ce que ce programme fait, ça donne euh, plus d'argent dans les poches des PDG des grandes entreprises. Donc ça, c'est encore quelque chose que je pense que ça fait mal aux gens. Ce n'est pas la bonne chose à faire. Donc euh, notre approche, c'est on doit faire face à l'exploitation des grandes entreprises, on doit réduire les prix et on doit arrêter de donner des millions de dollars aux grandes entreprises. Uh, I also just want to add in, we see people taking matters into their own hands with a boycott of law laws because they don't see this liberal government taking on corporate greed. We need to see real action to stop corporate greed, bring down the prices of groceries, invest in people, not give millions of dollars to rich corporations. I want to invite Lori Idlaut to share her thoughts on what's going on, particularly in the north and with a recent committee visit where she is going to bring in or bring in the CEO of Northwest Company. Lori. We are here because the Liberals are very good at uh, protecting corporate greed and we're calling them out on it. Uh, what we need to do, what, we, what I have been doing uh, since I became elected is asking questions about the Nutrition North program because my constituents have been telling me right from the beginning that they are still suffering in poverty. Meanwhile, corporate greed is being protected by the Liberal government. Mm -hmm. The Northwest Company is making major profits, hundreds of millions of dollars in profits, while my residents are suffering in poverty. Uh, for example, the cost of uh, a single pineapple in Talukyok is $11.99. Uh, a single liter of olive oil costs $36 in Nunavut. Uh, we need to make sure that we're getting answers for Nunavut milk for the Arctic because this Liberal government is failing to do it, and that is why I've called, I've summoned uh, the C these CEO CEOs to stop using their corporate greed to keep uh, uh, Northern residents in poverty. Thank you so much, Lori. Thank you. Ready for any questions you might have? Vous avez sûrement vu, là, il y a des grèves qui ont été déposées pour les, par les syndicats pour le retour au travail de trois jours. Ils demandent aussi au NPD euh, d'arrêter de supporter euh, les libéraux. Euh, ça a été quoi votre réaction quand vous avez pris connaissance que les syndicats euh, vous demandent là, votre appui? 
euh, ils ont notre appui. Parce que ce que les libéraux font, ce qu'ils, les premiers soeurs, effectivement, ce qu'ils font, ils brisent un élément de l'entente qu'ils ont, ils ont obtenue ensemble. Donc, c'est, c'est l'opposé de ce qu'ils qu'il doivent faire. Euh, on a des ententes avec les travailleurs et euh, les entreprises, dans ce cas le gouvernement, et on doit respecter ces ententes. Euh, ça, c'est comment on fait les négociations avec les travailleurs. On doit respecter les ententes. Et ce que le gouvernement libéral fait maintenant, c'est de briser cette entente. Donc, on appuie les demandes des travailleurs oui, et on va, on, va, on va utiliser notre pouvoir pour uh, continuer à mettre la pression sur le gouvernement. Just in English on that, sir. Just... Yeah, uh, so what's clear is what the Liberal government is doing right now, what Justin Trudeau is effectively doing, is breaking an element of the collective agreement. This was a negotiated part of the agreement, and that's what should, be, should happen. These matters should be negotiated, and then the agreement should be respected. And what the Liberals are doing are, are disrespecting that agreement, are breaking an element of it, and of course the workers should be able to count on our support to stand with them, to apply pressure on the government to make sure they follow up and follow through with their word. Are you willing to pull out of the deal? That is what PSAC is saying. They want you to use the supply and confidence agreement if the Liberals don't follow through. That sounds like an election to me. Are you willing to do that over one day of extra work for federal public servants in person? Well, we have lots of tools under to our disposal with the agreement that we have. It allows us to put a lot of pressure on the Liberals, and we're going to use that pressure. We're going to use those tools to stand up for working people. We'll always fight for working people. Yeah, there's lots of ways. So I can give you a number of examples. Uh, the Liberals said no to pharmacare. We used our agreement to push forward. They said no to putting in medication coverage. We got dental, we got diabetes medication and devices, as well as birth control free. But none of that was none of that was uh, something that the Liberals were going to do. We used pressure, and we got to that point. The dental care. The dental care piece, we didn't require going to an election. We used pressure, and we got that through. We were able to double the GSC rebate, which is now known as a grocery rebate. Again, that's something that we applied pressure. We forced the government to deliver. Even the public inquiry, something that we're recently talking about, was something New Democrats forced the government to do. They didn't want to do it. They were opposed to it. We kept the pressure going. New Democrats are the ones who first called for it and made it happen. There's many examples of how we have used our power to force the government to do something. They started off saying no. We forced them to do it.